All right, this is second grade, module five, lesson 13. And in this lesson, we are going to be using our manipulatives to understand how that standard subtraction algorithm works. So a lot of our previous videos have been built, teaching the students how to build number sense so that they understand what subtraction means. In this lesson, we are hitting them right hard with the absolute normal standard algorithm. Although we are going to be using those manipulatives to hope that it makes sense to the students. So this says to solve using mental math or the vertical form with the place value disks. And then, of course, check using uh, addition. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you what it would look like with the vertical form using those place value disks. And remember, these are not disks that you have to go to... Walmart and buy. These are dots that you're going to draw on paper. So let's start by writing the problem in vertical form. And parents and teachers, you got to make sure that the students have lined up the ones on top of the ones, the tens on top of the tens, and then the hundreds on top of the hundreds. In this case, there are no hundreds down here. So now that I've lined up the vertical form nice and neat, I am going to go over here on the side and I will do that place value chart. And remember the place value chart looks like this. Here's our hundreds, our tens, and our ones. And I'm going to begin by modeling that 153. So there's 100, there's 50, and there's 3. Now, the idea says, the, the problem says that we are supposed to subtract 8. So we have three ones, and we're sub supposed to subtract 8. Well, obviously, we don't have enough ones here to take away 8 of them. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this 10 right here, and we're going to unbundle him. And we're going to take that, and that's going to give us 10 dots. in the ones column. Now, instead of having three dots in the ones column, we now have 11, I'm sorry, 13 dots in the ones column. Now we have enough to take away eight. So we're going to take away eight, and we're going to cross off one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I've taken away eight of those dots, and because that's what it says so right here, take away eight. And so what are we left with? We're left with five dots left over. So now we have four in the tens column. So we have 40, and it says we're supposed to take away 30. Well, we could do that straight up. That's pretty easy. We just take away three of those dots. Let's see, one two, three. So I've taken away 30, so that leaves us with one dot in the tens column. And then you can see in the problem it says you have one in the hundreds, and there are no hundreds that we're supposed to take away, which leaves us with one in the hundreds. So the answer is 115. Now that's using the place value. Now what we could do is Let's do that using the standard algorithm over here on the left. So you have three ones, and we need to take away eight ones. So we're going to unbundle. We're going to take one of these five dots, leaving us with four in the tens column. And that takes this three in the ones column and makes it 13. So we now have 13 ones in the ones column. 13 take away 8 leaves us with 5. And then we have 4 tens take away 3 tens. That leaves us with 1 10. And then we have 100 take away no hundreds, leaving us with 100. So in both cases, you can see our answer is 115. And now what we need to do is it we need to... Uh, check our work using addition. So I'm going to scroll down here. So 153, if 
we have 153 minus 38 is 115. That means if we use addition, uh, that's, that's going to give us our check. So our addition is going to be 115 plus 38. And ideally, we want this as our answer. Uh, so let's add. So 5 ones plus 8 ones gives us 13 ones. So that's 3 in the ones column, plus we could bundle together 10 of those dots for a dot in the tens column. And then 10 plus 3 tens plus 1 ten, that's 5 tens, so that's 50. So that's 5 in the tens column. And then we have just 1 in the hundreds column, and so our answer is 153. That's exactly what we wanted. So that tells us that our answer of 115 is correct. So parents, teachers, I'm going to do this one a little quicker. So if you are showing this to your students, you may have to pause and rewind a few times uh, to, as you go. So we are going to solve this using the vertical form, and I'm going to show you how to do it with the place value disks. I'm going to begin by writing it in vertical form, 485 minus 177. So that's what it looks like in vertical form. Now we're going to go over here and let's do the place value chart. And there's our hundreds, tens, and ones. And so we're going to model 485. So one, two, three, four. There's our 400. And then we need 8 in the tens column. There's 8. And then we need 5 in the ones column. So there's my 485. Now it says we need to subtract. So I'm going to get my different color pen. Okay, and so it says start with 5 ones, take away 7 ones. Well, if you have 5, take away 7. We can't do that. So we are going to take this guy and we are going to unbundle him. And that's going to give us 10 dots. Oops. 10 dots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 in the ones column, making 15 total. So now we have 15 total, and it says take away 7. So that's pretty straightforward. We could do that. So we're going to take away 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And so we can see that we now have, let's see, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we now have 8 in the ones column. Now in our tens column, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we have 7, and it says take away 7. Well, that's pretty straightforward. We could do that. So we're going to take away 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So what are we left with in the, in the tens column? We're left with a big old 0. We have nothing in the tens column. Because don't forget, this green one got unbundled and put over here in the ones column. And then the remaining 7 all got crossed off. And then in the hundreds column, it says we have four hundreds. Take away 100, so take away 100, that's pretty straightforward. We just cross off one of those hundreds, leaving us with 3 in the hundreds column. So our answer is 308. Now let's do it using the standard algorithm over here. Five ones, take away... Now, by the way, teachers and parents, make sure your students have lined up the ones, the tens, and the hundreds. Make sure everything's nice and tidy and lined up. It says start with five ones, take away seven ones, and so we can't do that because when you only have five, you don't have enough to take away seven. So we are going to unbundle one of these tens. So that's going to leave seven tens left over, and we're going to get an extra ten, so that makes fifteen in the ones column. So now we have fifteen take away seven. 15 minus 7, that gives us 8. And then we have 7 in the tens column. Take away 7 in the tens column, that gives us 0 in the tens column. 7 minus 7 is 0. 
And then lastly, we have four hundreds take away one hundred gives us three hundred. So our answer in both cases is three hundred eight. Now we should check using addition. So we're going to take our answer, 308. We're going to add 177. So 8 plus 7 is 15. So that's a 5. And we can bundle together 10 of those 15 for an extra dot in the tens column. 0 plus 7 tens plus 1 ten is 8 tens. And then lastly, 300s plus 100 gives us 400. So our check is 485, and that's exactly what we started with. So that tells us that our answer of 308 is correct. And our last problem here, I, I just included this one because it's, it's kind of tricky. So they're basically giving us the model, and they're telling us now we have to kind of think it through and figure out what the original problem was in the first place. So I'm going to look at this first number and that's going to be shown by all these dots in this top row right here. So we have one, two, three, four, five hundreds. We have 10, 20, 30, one, two, three, four. So we have 534. So that's right here, 534. And then it looks like right here we needed to unbundle so that means we're going to subtract by something larger than four and I can see that they've crossed off one two three four five six seven eight nine so it looks like they're subtracting nine here so I know that's going to be a nine right here and then moving over here I can see that they've crossed off a 10. This got unbundled. So they've only crossed off one 10. So I can put that right here. And then lastly, over here in the hundreds, I can see that they crossed off three hundreds. So it looks to be like they subtracted 319. So let's see. Let's do that using the standard algorithm. Let's be sure. So 534 minus 319, everything's nice and lined up like this. Now four ones take away nine ones, we can't do. We need to do some unbundling. So we're going to go to the tens column and take one of those tens, leaving two tens left over, and unbundle him for ten ones, which means now we're going to have 14 ones. And then 14 ones take away 9 ones gives us 5 ones. And then 2 tens take away 1 ten gives us 1 ten. 2 minus 1 is 1. And then lastly, 5 hundreds take away 3 hundreds gives us 2 hundreds. And so our answer is 215. That's exactly what we were supposed to end up with. So that tells us we indeed created the proper number sentence. And that wraps up Grade 2, Module 5, Lesson 13, where we are using manipulatives to help us understand that standard subtraction algorithm.